What's up? I'm travel photographer Brendan Vanson of brendansadventures.com and I'm on location here in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Okay, so I've just arrived in Buenos Aires and I have some time here actually. I have four days, but I'm supposed to be getting caught up on work so I don't have as much time as I would like. But I will be able to shoot probably three, four, maybe five locations on this trip. Uh, I'm gonna start today by heading to Plaza de Mayo where the Casa Rosada, the pink building is and a cathedral and it, it looks like it might be a cool place to shoot. There's no clouds in the sky at all. so. Hopefully some roll in or I can figure something else out along the way. On the way to Casa Rosada, I have to try to find an ND filter because from here I'm heading to Iguazu Falls and all I have is a three stop ND filter. And at Iguazu, I'm assuming that I'm gonna be wanting something like six stops at least. So hopefully I can find something. Um, there is some camera shops in town, but I haven't had any luck finding ND filters anywhere in South America. So it might be a bit of a mission, but anyway, let's go look and then uh, let's go shoot the plaza. So I was seriously unsuccessful in trying to find uh, an ND filter here in Buenos Aires. It just appears that nobody uses ND filters in South America. I've tried in Sao Paulo, in Peru, in everywhere I was in Brazil really, and then now everywhere I've been in, in, in Argentina, and it, they, you just can't find them. There's no ND filters. I guess they don't do long exposures or low depth of field portraits or anything that you need ND filters for in Buenos Aires or in South America in general. I actually talked to a dude at the camera shop and, and he didn't know what an ND filter was and he was a camera shop salesman. I went to another place and the guy said, yeah, we have to special order them and they're expensive and so yeah, thing, some things you just can't find abroad. I guess I'll have to wait until I get back home. Um, so that was unsuccessful. Shooting in the plaza was fairly successful, although there was absolutely no cloud cover at all. And there isn't again today. And today I'm planning on heading to La Recoleta, the cemetery that's where Evita is buried. And from my memory last time, it was a really cool place to photograph. Um, kind of a tough place to photograph, but pretty cool too. So this afternoon, I'm gonna head there. I think it closes at 5.30 and sunsets at six. So maybe I'll show up at about 4.45 and that gives me about 45 minutes to shoot and hopefully get a cool image in somewhat low light. So yeah, let's wander down that way.
So after shooting a bit of um, the old Buenos Aires, if you will, the past couple days, I've decided to come down to a part of town called Puerto Madero. And it's kind of like this upscale, um, kind of fancy, modern part of town right on the water. Um, it's where a lot of people come to do some walking or afternoon jogging, and it's quite beautiful. And I think it'll be a cool place to shoot sunset tonight. As you can see, it's a bit cloudy. Hopefully those clouds kind of break up a little bit and we get some nice, colorful skies. And yeah, there's some cool subjects it looks like. There's a bridge back there that looks quite interesting, an old boat, some buildings, some sky rises. So let's see what we come up with tonight. So a while back you might have watched one of my videos where I talked about image scouting and location scouting before shooting and that's such an important part of the job. You can't just show up at sunset and shoot images and hope for the best, uh, the best photos. You really have to scout things out. So that's why I came about an hour and a half before sunset and I've just been wandering around not only trying to find good lines, nice compositions, nice angles, but try to figure out where the light's going to look nicest at the most so I can get the most out of the light. So. I found this location here, which is kind of a classic um, classic view of Puerto Madero. Um, right on the bridge, there's a cool composition as well, as there is on the other side of the bridge of the boat and the skyline back that way. So I think I've got three, four images that I'm, I'm really gonna like here. Now I just need to wait for the light to come down and, and then shoot it. So yeah, it looks like it's gonna be good. I think the light's gonna be cool. So fingers crossed, let's go. So it's my last day in Buenos Aires and I'm now gonna hike down to a neighborhood called La Boca and that's a really colorful neighborhood. There's, um, it kind of looks like New Orleans, like a really, really small version of New Orleans. I didn't get any good photos there last time. Um, I'm probably a little bit late today. It's already after four, so I probably only got about two hours of shooting light, um, but we'll see what we can do. Um, it's a cool part of town. I'm excited to go back and then tomorrow I'm done. So this is really my last time to shoot. I've had pretty average light here in, in Buenos Aires. The light just hasn't been fantastic, but I've still managed to get some cool images, I think, so I'm really stoked about how it turned out. Anyway, let's get down to La Boca and, and check things out.
Okay guys, that's it for me here in Buenos Aires. I actually had a fantastic time here despite the fact that I only got clouds one time that I shot. I had just a blast, a really good time. And it's kind of funny because the past two times I was in Buenos Aires, my first time and my second time, I didn't really like it. I thought it was big, I thought it was borderline rough. I thought the people were a little bit arrogant and maybe a bit rude. This time I liked the people. I had a good time. I guess it's maybe a little bit like New York in that some days it can wear you down and some days it can look like absolute heaven on earth. So I had a blast here and yeah, it was a good time and I'm ready to move on. My next destination is uh, Puerto Iguazu, Iguazu Falls. So I'm gonna head there. There'll be a bit video from there and then I'm back into Brazil. So lots of cool stuff still coming on the channel. So be sure to stay tuned. Be sure to stay, stay subscribed <laughs> as I remember how to talk. And yeah, I'll catch you next time. Peace.